kasama na sa raffle. <laughs> okay, guys. Sino na makakapag-record? Hey! Hey! hey. Ano? Sino na makakapag-record, guys? Dapat pala pag mag-record kayo, hindi kayo mag-switch tab, ah. Yung hindi kayo mag, ano, mag-touch yung tab para hindi mawala yung, yung screen. Ayan, si Veg. Sige. Para may ano rin kayo, di ba? Meron din kayong personal copy na kanilang discussion. Ayun, meron na daw. Thank yeah, you so yeah. much for that, Veg. Oh, game, Diggs. Let's go, Veg. Uh, Let's go. Ayan, sige. So, alis na ako, guys. Ha? <laughs> Buta na ako, baba. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sige. Alright, so... Again, hello and welcome to our UIUX or UX Sapang UIDOL with Kiara and Pauline. So, Pao, introduce yourself. So, right. I'm share up on this. Kaya ba? Or do you want me to share the slides? But, no, ba? Kasi hindi kaya. Sure. Hindi na nang data dito. Thank you. Sure ka na lang. Wait lang. Alright. So, ito na. Ayun, naka-share uh, na ako ng screen. So, since medyo may technical difficulties sa Discord, I want you to chat kung nakikita nyo pa yung screen ko right now. Or loading lang siya. Ayun. Tama ba ito pa? Is this the correct? Yes. Ano? All right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Ayun. So, Ayun, clear to ba yung audio ni Pauline? Kasi on my end, clear naman siya. Okay, thank you. So, ayun. Hi, everyone. Ay- I'm Pauline D. Your, st- oh, tama, <laughs> Your student mentor, and you can call me Pau na lang. Uh, just a little bit background about me since hindi ako nakapagpakilala dati. I'm a 19-year-old second student from UP Manila. I'm currently taking the BA Philippine Arts program. Since arts talaga pinaka main passion ko over design right now, so I've been designing for more than five and community orgs since grade 10, and I've been a freelance graphic designer for two years now. And disclaimer lang na I've been in the UI or UX field for almost one year and a half. So. Alam pa ako sa senior level na ina-expect nyo man. Pero I've been dedicating my time to learn more about this creative field. And I'm just here as your peer mentor who will share what I've learned and what I've been learning along the way. So, ayun, wag niyo na ako tawagin ma'am or madam kasi ilang talaga ako when someone call me with those titles since it's indicating na that I'm some senior that you need to respect and be formal with. So yeah, I prefer na wag nyo na yun gamitin. Just call me Pao like I'll be your friend or classmate that will help you understand some lessons sa arts and design class. Specifically sa UI or UX. And ayun, if you want to connect with me, you can do so naman by checking out my accounts on the screen. Pwede po pabalik sa clip. Thank you. Ayan. Kaya ayun, disclaimer lang na ala pa talagang lamon kasi pa-mysterious and super shy person talaga ako nun. And ngayon ko lang siguro feel yung cloud chase energy in my soul. So, I'll be posting some design tips soon naman. Okay. And enough about me. Para attendance check lang to. I just want to know how are you all. Yung, you can describe it siguro with emojis in the chats. Ayun. 
emojis type what like uh, how are you feeling today though mm-hmm. using emojis in the chat like enjoy new ba yung long face <laughs> Char, lang ba talaga? Kusbitin para sa akin. Pero ayun, just take like love kung ano yung nararamdaman niya yun. And feel free to share what you love sa procession at discuss ni Kiara dati. And thank okay. you ulit para for coming here again today. Ayun. Okay, wow. <laughs> Tumutang. Wow, ano, ano eh, interactive <laughs> nila. Gutong <laughs> daw. And Alright. Wow, very So, ayon, what would we be doing nga naman kaya ni Kiara? Yeah, so on our session ngayon, episode 2 of our usapang you idol. So, Pauline will be discussing the design fundamentals for UI UX and next is our interactive design thinking workshop. So, in um i believe excited yung lahat and i hope na ready na kayo mag think outside of the box magi creative and magi overthinker for today's session <laughs> because mag overthink tayo ng malala mamaya okay, okay so <laughs> yep so, um, and was... mm-hmm. yep oh you can start with your fundamentals Okay, so ayun, I'll start with a design talk nga para makabawi. Since di ako naka-attend dati, use the urgent matters that I need to attend to. And hopefully you learn a lot from me today because this is the part 2 na sinimala ni Kiara na heart-to-heart design talk. Or should I say na heart and mind design talk. And just to know again, I'm not an expert but I've read many articles, medium blogs, watch talks of some well-known designers. So I will be telling what I've learned so far. And please bear it na lang if I tell you on some more technical stuff. But these will are important concepts that you really need to know about the UI or UX design field. So next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah. It's the curtain. <laughs> First of all, gusto ko muna magpa-poll. I just have a simple question for you guys. Are you more of a creative person or a logical person? So, get tingnan natin. And as you're, some of you are answering that question, believe it or not, guys, ikaw ba, tika, are, you, are you more of a creative or more logical person ba? Logical. Oh, same. Talaga, Is more than logic. <laughs> I'm more of a logical and analytical type of person then. And most of my whole life talaga, nakafocus lang ako sa mga bagay na kailangan ng logical thinking. Uh, you know, not for bragging purposes lang, just to emphasize my point. No elementary, lahat ng contest sa uh, major subjects na pili na ako nanalo. Pero never ever talaga ako napili panlaban sa mga poster making. Alam niyo ba yung activity na yun, guys? Tapos, di ko ako yung parang pinag-aagawan ng mga kaklasiko if meron mang gagawing art project. And, ayun, I was very interested in the medicine field. Kaya pumasok ako sa isang science high school. And nung nasa science high school naman ako, I had a change of heart. And nag-take ako ng mga programming, game development, and robotics na Elective. The first time I've taken interest in the creative field was nung nag-take ako ng free summer class sa drawing and painting sa YDC. So yeah, magugulat na lang talaga yun yung girls ko if nakita niya na pati sa design na lang siya ngayon and kumuha pa siya ng course na parang pinaghalong arts and design ngayon. And lalo na siguro yung mga relatives ko na nag expect na maging doctor or engineer ako. Pero ayun nga, Oh, Sin ko most ay, dito na, sinabi na, ano, na, no, logical. Oo nga eh. Ay, ay, I ay, think ay. dahil mm-hmm. ano, mga UI UX designers, mga overthinker kasi talaga. So, yep, pa we can continue. <laughs> yeah, and siguro tama ba na mostly BS ComSci or BS IT and BS Computer Engineering students yung sumala sa atin ngayon? 
Let's ask the mentees. Yes, though. No. ID, no. L, C, S. No. Yep. Yeah, yeah so, that makes sense back at Madaming Logical Thinker. Mm -hmm. Per ano, ito, sin. Tapos na kayo magsagot ng poll and nalaman na rin namin na mostly logical thinkers tayo dito. Halos lahat. Ano, be honest. Sino sa inyo yung andito lang just to improve their design skills pero hindi nyo talaga binabalak na baging designer? Sige nga, type 1 sa chat if it's true na you want to be a designer and 0 if di naman talaga. Oh, gusto talaga maging designer nila. Okay, we zero din tayo na kita. One zero. <laughs> zero, pero open naman. One, one, zero. May mga nag zero. Oh. Pero ayun, kung di nyo naman balak maging designer, it's really, really okay with us. We completely respect your decision and we wish you all the best kung ano man na ipapersoon nyo in the, in the future. And you're all welcome here to learn with us about design if you want to level up your game as a developer. If yun yung binabalak nyo in the future. And I believe na even if logical thinkers kayo, Pustahan tayo, Bente, na you can improve your creative skills if you dedicated your time in learning about arts and design in general. So, I'll tell you how to decide with logic siguro today. Because design is not made out of pure creative magic. And how your analytical, logical, and systematical thinking could be your power as a designer. And today, I'll tell you that it's realistically possible and with a high certainty that anyone can be a designer even if they're a logical and analytical thinker. Mm. Bakit nga ba? Siguro. You realize it later after... Wait, next question. Wait, like, na pala. <laughs> oh, tell me lang if I have to... Next. Ah, uh, next. Slide. Right. Alright. So, ayan. Okay, ito yung questions natin. Siguro marilize nyo bakit kaya nyo maging designer. After, I'll let you think of what's the role of a designer and what are the three assets that I think you should have as a designer. So let's keep in mind these questions on the screen because we're going to answer them together nga later. So what is design? Who can be a designer? What are the three assets that a designer should have? Okay, well, time ulit. <laughs> so, what can, what words come into your mind ba kapag sinasami natin na kung ano ang isang designer? Just type your thoughts on the chat because we just want to know lang yung current perceptions na about being a designer. Ihintayin na natin. Oh, great. Designer, making things beautiful and pleasing to the eyes. Correct. Art, creativity. Mm, ito tayo pa sila. Tama. Create visual content. Okay. Wow. Kakaibang answer. Someone who designs things to solve problems. Okay. Wow. Designer is form and function. Designers are problem solvers with artistic visions. Ganda ng ano ah. Designer expressing his or creativeness sa isang bagay. Okay. Yeah. Minecraft terms. Ay, wow. <laughs> Creative. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. A designer is a creative professional who conceptualizes and develops visual and functional solutions to meet various needs, often focused on enhancing user experiences and communication through different mediums. Sabi yan ni Jeff Alden. Okay. 
Oh, ayan. So, ayun. We see words na mostly related sa creativity and visual and yung sa paggawa ng solutions for some problems. Mm. Ayun. Ay, We're at ano, 90 na. Yep. Bal ano, tag dito? Try niyong balikan pa yung lesson ni Ate Kara. Meron pa ako isang hinahap na sagot. It starts with letter E. Yun yung dapat na meron ang isang designer. Ano ko? Tignan nga natin kung... Ano? TV Ako, Romano. nakinig naman ka na. Nakinig okay, naman. Nakinig naman. So, ayun. Bagyan ng star. Wait, last place na daw sila sa challenge ba? And, okay. <laughs> ayun, most of us din pala think that a designer should be creative, which is obviously right nga naman. So, kasi it's for real na UI or UX design is on the creative field na. So, it's not questionable kapag sinabi na having creativity as a designer is important. Creativity is important because your role as a designer is to create ideas then and come up with aesthetically pleasing interfaces. Sige, pot time na tayo ulit. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to, 10, 1 to 10, how creative are you? Yan. 5. Then, I wow, super creative. Five, eight. Oh, okay. Six, and down. Bakit the eleven? <laughs> Nine, five, five. Grabe naman napaka creative ni Surfer Team. One, one, one. Nax. Pati pang ano, depende sa mood. Negative. Undecided. Undecided. Same. Legendary. Pero, totoo naman, no? Mm -hmm. If you're on the 1 to 5 or 0 or negative and you believe na you don't have creativity or you have just a little amount of it, I would like to tell you that what I've learned about creativity and creative persons na muna. As but most of us believe in siguro, or baka ako lang, creativity is an innate talent that some fortunate people in the world were born with it. Pero, sure ko lang na there's really a study on this. I just forgot to say the article that talks about highly creative persons and how some parts of their brains are formed differently. And if I ever find it, siguro I'll share it lang here. This is a nod. So yeah, there are talented creative people out there na may mga mahiwagang to amay. Pero does that mean ba na sa kanila na lang yung arts and design field because they have the advantage? Uh, dapat ba madishearten tayo ng creatives kasi sila lang pwede maging artists and designers? Hindi. Tama. Okay, gusto ko yung attitude nyo guys. Yan. Tama. So, ayun. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Huwag kayo madishearted na hindi kayo magiging magaling na artists or designers or any creative you think of because you think na hindi kayo nabibiyaan ng malawak na imagination. Pero, in design, kasi you don't really need that high levels of artistic creativity or super imagination so much sa katulad sa arts if ever iniisip nyo na need nga yun sa design. Because, next slide. Okay. So, ito kasi, design is all about finding solutions within constraints. If there are no constraints, it's not design, it's art, as what Matthias Duarte said, as the vice president of design at Google. Kasi, Sa ayo at gusto man natin, there are actually constraints sa design that bound to limit our creative decision making that could be. Next slide. Technical, financial, organization, and project specific. Uh, isang example na project specific constraint to mismo is yung 
deadline na project. Kasi di ba nakaka-pressure kapag kayong designers, meron lang kayong limited amount of time para makakreate ng prototypes. Next is yung sa technical constraint. Yung mismong screen sizes with limited number of pixels sa mga phones nyo or sa laptop, that's already a constraint that will limit the details you own. Oh, tama, crumb yun kayo. You can only put in your design. You need to take kung paano mo ipagkakasya lahat ng naiisip mo. Yung mismo tech stack na gagamitin to build an app ng mga developers, that's another constraint you should really take note of. Because tayo mga designers, di pwede tayo magpupilit na ilagay yung mga pa-swoosh-swoosh or pa-wow effect na mga animations na lang. Kasi baka magalit naman sa inyo yung developers niyan since pinapahirapan yung buhay nila. Ayan. Mm -hmm, tama, kasama din yung ano, skill issue. So, next naman is yung sa organizational constraint. If you ever work in a comp company or meron kayong client, you need to follow their brand guidelines and design system if ever meron na silang na-establish. And ayun, need mo sundin anong, anong gusto style nila kasi since, yun nga, nagtatrabaho ka sa kanya, sila yung nagbabahit sa iyo. And next, financial constraint. Mm, ito mismo yung ano, kapag wala tayo pambili legally ng Adobe products para makapag-design, so either di tayo makakagamit ng industry standard na tool or either mapipilitan na lang tayong mamirata na lang. Pero ayun, kung ala kayong Adobe XP, libre naman yung Figma which you can download sa Google. So, that's the first four types of constraints. And we have this another type na, which might surprise you. Uh, next. Okay. Yan. User-related constraints. Uh, believe me or not, but the needs and wants of people are constraints themselves then. Kasi, di ka pwede gumawa ng kahit ano, just because trip mo lang. Di ka... Pwede pumili ng fonts kasi ang angas, ang edgy, or ang cute kahit. And yung sizes din dapat precise. You need to consider really well kung mababasa ba nila yung text. And think more about it. It even makes more sense kasi they are UX or UI principles that are based on the behavior of the people. There are accessibility guidelines na sinusundan like the WCAG or Web Content Accessibility Guidelines ay siguro para nabagot nito ni Ate Kiara sa inyo dati. And aside from those constraints that I've said earlier, I believe na marami pa kayong constraints na malalaman if you ever decided to stay on this field. So yeah, disclaimer na lang agad na you won't have total creative freedom in this field and you'll meet those constraints along the way. Mm, kaya naman ngayon, focus time. Ano yung mga constraints na naiisip nyo sa pagde-design? Sige. Time. Yema. Art block. Animations. Focus. <laughs> Oh, puro time talaga yun yung isip ni constraints. Kasi kaka-pressure nga naman talaga pag may deadline. Resources. Tama. Oo. Oh, oh. Sa user-related constraints, dapat yung isip natin na PWD friendly din sila. Yung laptop nag-hug. Lagi kong na-experience yan. Same. Technical constraints. Sige, hintayin natin yung iba. <laughs> no, yung hindi talaga na-save. <laughs> Sige, ano pa? Think of ano pa? Grabe, ang dami nagsasabi. Existing designs na para similar sa naisip natin. Okay, I feel you. Okay. 
Kasi sabi ni founder, pati skill ng dev. One time may naka-work daw siya na puro animation na lang. Oh my God. Sabi niya daw, maghanap ka na lang ng animate. Kala niya yata at cartoon series yung gagawin na website ko. Meron akong design ng website kasi yung binibigay na images ng client ang pangit ng quality and ang labo. Oh my God, the struggles. I feel you, Kuya Dan. Gumawa ng PowerPoint. <laughs> Oo, yung 3D rin yung assets. Tapos siya animate May nisang pera na sa PowerPoint. Okay lang ba yun? Hmm, okay. <laughs> Iguro pag sa UI or UX design, parang ang weird. Pero ayan nga. Next naman. Ni slide. Ayan. So... I believe the scary news is this is the challenge of a designer. You really have to be creative even with the constraints. You'll have to wrap up your brain in coming up with solutions within those limits. And it seems scary at first because it would limit your options as a designer. But now the cool news is about those constraints for non-creative people and even for creative people is you don't have to start with a blank canvas or should I say a blank thing rather? We don't have to deal na with that blank canvas syndrome. Yung parang natutulala na tayo, tapos na-overwhelm tayo. Kasi parang ang dami nating ideas na may isip. Or either, wala talaga kapag tumititig tayo sa mga blank na frames. So yung constraints, it could be your North Star. It could be your clues and guys on how you could come up with a design solution to overcome problems which will cater to the needs of the people. You now have limited options na lang and you just need to make a decision na lang on what should be implemented. You need to make a decision as a designer. And alam ko may special term para sa mga ganun. Design decisions. In your role as a UI or UX designer, interaction designer or product designer, your decision-making skills is important and it will be tested so much along the way. So this is where your logic could shine in. So making design decisions as a logical thinker, you have the logical reasoning, systematic thinking, analytical skills that could be your powers as a designer. So let's start with logical reasoning. If you're a designer, kasi, you're Creations should not be based lang sa three-page small. As a designer, you have to think carefully if your design makes sense for the developers, users, and the stakeholders. Like for instance, you just can say sa boss mo sa company or sa client na, I made this simple design because it looks aesthetic. You have to explain your design. Kailangan mo siyang ma-defend para ma-accept yun. Dapat ma-defend mo na hindi siya pangit or kapalit-palit lang. Sige, ano, next slide. Ayan, try natin to as a challenge. Defend your thesis. Um, kunyari, mag a ako as your annoying client nyo. Gusto ko i-type nyo sa chats or kung malakas talaga yung loob nyo, Gusto ko mag-onwrite kayo mismo. Bakit? Ito. Ito na. Lights, camera, action. Ako yung anay client niya. Why did you make this design so simple? Ang boring naman tingnan and there's so much empty space. Wala ka bang maisip kaya wala kang malagay? Sayang naman bad sa sayo na 150. Okay, so ayun. How <laughs> boring. <laughs> next client, please. Pero siyempre, try niyo explain pa rin, guys. <laughs> Ikaw, Ayan, Clara. Okay. Hmm. How will you defend yourself, your design? Paulit nga yun, Pao. Sorry. Parang... Ano? Ah, nagalit na ato siya. <laughs> <laughs> na, natawa ako sa mga comments. Kasi... Ano mo yung sanaawan? Ano, Ayan, why did you make this design so simple? 
boring naman tingnan and there's so much empty space. Wala ko pong may isip kaya wala akong malagay. Sayang naman bayad ko sa'yo na 150. Okay. It's your role is ikaw yung designer and ide-defend mo bakit simple lang yung design mo. Go at it, Kira. So, since nagtagalog naman siya, magtatagalog na lang din ako. Uh-oh. So, um, ano na lang, um, by personal experience, wow. Um, yeah, <laughs> let, let's admit it, guys. Madaming ganyan na client, especially if local. Oh, oh, let's be that. transparent here. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. I had clients like that. So, usually what I do is, of course, be professional pa din. So, how I can approach it is that I explain ko yung design ko. So, mm-hmm. hindi ko alam paano siya, like, pina may pa-acting-acting. <laughs> Pero, go um, lang. Bakit simple no, hindi, hindi ako na for my defense pala. Yeah, so, basically, <laughs> the design that you're looking for, that you need. Yeah. So yeah, let's not, uh, di, di ko na lang sabihin na ano, dahil 150 lang yung binayad mo, kaya ganyan yung design. <laughs> so basically, yung design na ginawa ko, it's simple, but it has the information na kailangan. Yeah, so basically, if you want to make any changes or you want to make any additions, I am open for it. And, ayun lang, as long as, hirap naman, hirap, hindi, hindi talaga ako, ano, <laughs> a- actress. Sorry pa, hindi ako nag, nag, hindi ako okay, nakapag-rehearse. Okay, pero, pero yeah, sasabihin ko na, ano, mo. explain ko yung design ko. Yeah. Not, to be mm-hmm. like in a in a designer way ha huh? because some yeah. of course we have clients na hindi designers mag magkakaroon pa na miscommunication i'll explain the why my design is like this i made the design like this because it's aligned with what our marketing like needs or what mm-hmm. our brand needs ganun and kasi yun naman yung main point when you design, di ba? And also, because it's user-friendly. Pero when you say user-friendly, mm-hmm. kasi sometimes clients don't really get it. Yeah, so basically, yes. you explain the design, the reason why you made that, na it doesn't have to be complex. So, Ayun. And then, syempre, if yung client mo, mainitin yung ulo or, or let, let's go for the worst client na napapangitan sa design mo but hindi nila sinasabi kung ano yung part na napapangitan sila. So, <laughs> so yep. And I think that kailangan talaga natin mag-adjust minsan. Hmm. Sige, ano. You have to adjust, Sige, but mahirap mag- pang baka may mga ano dyan, best in actress. <laughs> uh-uh. <clears throat> si yep. Sir Timon, ayun, parang ganun yung ina-expect ko na sagot sana. Yung... Parang, pang checking the brief, a clean and minimalist approach can name it fix your brand. So yeah, let's try to answer like Sir Timon, guys. Take two, take two, ha? Mm-hmm. Ano? So, if you sa chats nyo yung, ano nyo, reason, yung sa kakit ganun yung design decision nyo, bakit nyo ginawang simple lang? On the serious side, I always provide, sabi dito ni Core for team, I always provide mm-hmm. at least two versions sa design and then pipili siya. Ha, kung sino ang mas pet and doon na ako mag explore As a matter of expectation setting then Actually, depende din naman sa yun as a designer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wala, okay, yes, diyas ba daw po? So, yun. This is more... Di mo na need po, pero ng sombrang na daming na design. Gusto <laughs> ko bakit ba? <laughs> Uh, 
Pero yes, and how to avoid talaga mga ganitong situation na ganyan yung clients mo. It's always important to really communicate with your client before you start on getting the project. You communicate what you need as a designer and know what your client needs. And of course, gather all the information that you really need while you're working on the design. Yun talaga yung importante. Always do that. Because if you really just go straight, jump into the design process and without any proper communication with the client, scenarios like that will really do happen and you want to avoid that as much as possible because it's not just ang yung impact kasi hindi lang sa sa yoy eh. hindi lang impact sa yo may impact siya sa business sa client and of course yung we are very prone to burnouts designers so always communicate what you really need talaga. Ayan. Huwag niyong punin ko masyadong mapapa naman, guys. The way you're working out, sabi ni Sir for team. Er, ayun. Testing lang naman yun kasi marami pa kayo ipaglalaban sa susunod if magiging designer talaga yu, kayo. Er, ayun. Move on na tayo siguro muna kasi para bumaba yung mga blood pressure nyo. <laughs> Sige. Um, ano? Ganto na lang. Next slide para ano. Ayun. So, how how can we apply systematic thinking up in the field of UI or UX design? Pero siguro, before I answer that, na siguro natandaan niyo na yung sinabi ni Ate Karen na dati na a simple design is a good design. Mm, bakit nga pa? Break tayo, review tayo. Guys, What? why do you think a simple design is a good design? Tinuro yan ni Ate Kiara nyo, ha? Less is more. Ate Kiara. <laughs> But I feel, ano, ha? Older, 10 years. <laughs> uh. Sorry. Ano Less ba? is more. Why do you think simple design is a good design? Good design is a visible. Mas madali ba digest information? Hindi nagka-flash sa design. Correct? Mas madali Mas kasi gawin. gawin. Tsaka para mas, mas madali, madali siya the use and daw. Wow. Sis, ay wow, wag ko lang nalaman yung ano na to. Simplicity is superior. Simple design doesn't overwhelm the users. Tama? Easier to access and use for the users. So, yung design nyo para mag-focus sa usability and accessibility. May respect sa empty space. Plus, it's more para pas focus na sa content. Uh, yung sabi ni Jigby Pop, minsan kasi na-overshadow yung functionality at clarity ng design. Kaya dapat, yung design nyo ba ay simple. So, ayun. Ay, wow. Okay. Saan natin ito kasi effort. <laughs> Systems are usually designed with a goal in mind. The initial design is usually created with the mind achieving what the system is supposed to do in a way that enhances the user experience. Hence, keeping it simple, diverse, focus towards functionality while keeping it digestible enough for users. Napakalupit nga naman ni Ed. 
So ayun, may bien, correct kayong lahat. And katulad nga na naisip nyo, yung wealth designers sa mundo, they also prefer the beauty of simplicity. Kaya itong quote na to, if you know Dieter Rams who created the 10 timeless commandments for good design, he said, Good design is as little design as possible. Less but better because it concentrates on the essential of aspects and the products are not burdened with non-essentials. So back to purity, back to simplicity. So ayan. Next. Kaya ganon. Next slide. Let's remember yung case acronym as said by Clarence Johnson who's a well-known designer naman ng mga fighter jets. Keep it simple, stupid. So, nandaan dapat natin na we have to take carefully of every element na ilalagay natin sa frames. Dapat sweet and thoughtful tayo mga para sa mga people na gagamit ng prototypes natin. It's not always about us kasi as designers. We must always think what do they really want and need talaga. So, we should not have that biased man mindset as a designer. We just that our preferences, beliefs, and ideas influence how our design looks and works. Let's always break that delulu thoughts that what we're thinking is always right and it's also what everyone wants. So, yep, designing is really simple. Ibigay lang natin sa kanila yung kailangan nila and tagkalin yung kinaayawan nila na mga, sa mga giging output mo. Pero, is it really simple nga ba, guys? Kayo? So, tingin nyo, design is simple nga pa gawin. Kaya, kasi kanina, di ba, doon sa my reactions nyo, parang galit na kayo doon sa my <laughs> client agad. So, parang, di nyo tatanggapin yung work kasi alam nyo na mahirap yung ginagawa nyo. You dedicate your time and effort. Kaya, ayun, wag talaga kayo mag-accept ng mga ano, ng babalat na clients, yung 150. So, ayun, as you can see nga, next slide. <laughs> Design is simple. That's why it's complicated. So, yeah, you can see it's apparent na design mm -hmm. has this paradoxical nature. So, in the words of Paul Rand, nga, design is simple. That's why it's complicated. Because to achieve that simplicity in design, there's a complex process behind the intuitive interfaces and the usable products that you can easily use. Designers do a lot of thinking. There's this endless researching, brainstorming sessions, prototyping, testing, meeting with stakeholders, product launching, usability testing, and ulit ulit lang yon just to make the complicated things appear effortless. So yeah, wag niyo mamalitan yung sarili niyo guys as a designer. Because if you become a designer, you're the reason why technology can be accessible to people. You translate those complicated engineering and business ideas into simple products that could be easily used na. So if ever maka-encounter nga kayo ng client na low baller, thus may audacity pa na magsabi na madi lang ginagawa niya as designers, ay aba, walk out na lang and ipakagawa niya na lang sa iba. Para sa ikaw, bubuti na rin din yun ng mental health niyo and di na tumaas yung blood pressure niyo, tatulad ng kanina. So, okay, enough of that. So how can we make the complex process of UI or UX design into simple and manageable tasks. This is now where you're as a systematical thinker could shine. You may produce a structured design process and plan your magiging flow non step by step. And in this way, you won't overlook or miss some important details. Because as DJ Raps said, good design is thorough down to the last detail. Nothing must be arbitrary or left to chance. He even emphasized that Care and accuracy in the design process show respect towards the users. So, ayun, wag na lang kayo magulat if ever parang may mala research level na methodologies, process, or frameworks kayo malalaman in the future as UI or UX designers. Because design is put on art and science. And do you know Don Norman ba? He's the grand old man of UX design and he wrote the book na The Design of Everyday Things. He actually calls himself as a cognitive designer because what matters is that you design systems for how people think. So there's psychology nga 
And when there's psychology, expect research para maalis yung biases natin and we would make the sites based on a set of data. You can read this article from Interaction Design Foundation if you want to know more about some of the comment papers. I'll send the links mapaya para sa lahat ng mga sinasabi ko dito ngayon. But, okay, today I'll tell you lang about the common use play. Use this article which is, okay, next slide pa. And in a CE design thinking, it is a process and ideology narrative that is focused on solving complex problems in a human centric way. And share ko lang na this process originated from Stanford Design School. So you can see na antas na talaga ng tingin sa design as a profession and field. So, what is design thinking? Madali lang siya memory since it's simplified into a five stage process. And, ayon, sige, modify true or false muna tayo na quiz. Type true if you say that design thinking process created by standard design school is a linear process. And type false naman if hindi. Sabihin ako ano yung tamang word. False, tama. Pause. It's a loop. False. Ayan. So, ang dami nagsasabi sa inyo na false nga yun. Kimura pa like a cycle siya. Continuous. Mm -hmm. Pwede rin. So, ayan. Very good kayo kasi tama nga naman. So, it's a non-linear and iterative process. So, tatasan pin na ninyo sila sundin, sunat, sunat. And, di ibig sabihin naman rin no na kapag tapos na kayo sa testing, dan na kayo. So, let's go through these stages one by one. So, first, emphasize. You need to do this first talaga as a designer. If you really want to get into the UX field, for most of the time, bawal na ini-skip niyo part nito. Kasi, whether we like it or not, we need to go over this so we can determine the right problem and create the right idea. It's a big deal kasi. Imagine this. You are a designer and you just assume na alam mo na lahat about sa aming mga users. So you skip the research space na lang and you proceed with the prototyping again based on your own assumptions. And nung nilunch na yung design mo, akala, akakalain mo na gagamitin sila ng mga users pero eh... I'm sorry, it's a no for me and it's not what I'm really looking for. Okay, tapos ikaw, as a designer, you will feel na sayang ng lahat ng effort, time, and resources that you put on that. And I don't want that situation na mangyari naman in reality, di ba? So, as much as possible, go through this first stage, empathize. And in this process ka, you simply empathize by being open to this perspective of the user so you can gain insights on their true needs and wants. So first, let's appreciate and understand that the users are human beings. Kaya it's much better from now on daw if gagamitin nyo yung term sa kanila sa so UX case studies nyo na as people mm -hmm. instead of users. And instead of user-centric design, use the term human-centric design para maalis yung notion from the word users or the people who use our projects na they are just like some objects or numbers para lang mag-grow yung company. Let's remember that they are just humans like us who also have feelings, thoughts, wants, and needs. They are also part of some social groups and they have their own beliefs, ideas, and cultural norms. So we have to see how their world works. Kaya minsan, formally nagkakonduct din ng mga ethnographic field studies ang mga UX designers to observe how people naturally act in their uncontrolled environment while using a product. And of course, the basic essence of empathy. We have to understand their feelings. And I believe, alam niyo na siguro yung say na putting yourselves in the t-shirts of another person. So, kasi sa UX or UX design, must think of about the users like some people we are close with. Like, how we usually treat our fam and friends or joa if meron naman kayo. Kailangan nyo dapat sila na mabuti, tinatandaan nyo small things like their habits and kung saan sila natutuwa. 
We check on them from time to time to know what they're feeling. Alamin natin if they have challenges they are facing right now. And from their problems, let's never forget the... Ay, aside from this sa problems nila, let's never forget yung positive stuff, like what their motivations are. Because this is also a key on how to design apps or websites that people will want to use. And design, we can do this empathizing stuff formally through interviews, surveys, and focus group sessions. And then once we get to know them, we can all talk about what we know these people like using pers user persona maps, journey maps, and affinity maps. Pero, huwag muna kayo siguro masyado ma-intimidate on this or aralin lahat yun in one day. Kasi, ako rin mismo, hindi ko siya pa completely naiintindihan, halos lahat nun. And as I dwell deeper, ma-realize ko na lang na shit, ang dami ko pang need alamin. Pero, ayun nga, marami pa ako pwedeng malaman. So, just let your curiosity go on its own course. Just go study these on your own pace. And huwag niyo isipin kung naunahan kayo ng iba. Like, aba, pakinila kung mabagal ako or what. And try to enjoy lang while learning each user research method bit by bit para di kayo ma-overwhelm and ma-burn out agad. So, let's try this simple empathizing exercise. Relationships, goals ng mga designers and people. Oh my God, they were so thoughtful. You remember the small details about me. Okay, guys, in the chats, ready kayo? I want you to think of any person that you like right now and try to list down any of their frustrations, motivations, challenges, or wants. Sige, type nyo. Sino yung naaalala nyo? Sino yung parang gusto nyo na ano, tulungan as a designer? <laughs> Okay, take ko lang. Si Crush. Sige, anong ano? Prestations once na crush mo. Si Arsus. Siya po. Sabay po marami. Mm-hmm. In question, ano? Just think of any person that you like right now. Tapos, sabihin nyo lang kung ano yung frustrations nila, ano yung problems, kung may motivations ba sila, and ano yung mga gusto nila ngayon sa chat. Nang? Mm -mm. Ito mga kay... <sighs> mga B... Masyado na kayo nag-focus na sa may taong gusto nyo. Kung nyo pa-practice ko lang naman po kayo na empathizing exercise. Ayan, time pressure. Sabi ni Kosang Jigby pa. <laughs> Any person lang yan, guys, ha? So, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. so wag kayong ma-pressure. Uh oh. Yeah, and you can only provide one frustration if di talaga kaya mag-provide. Frustration is my to implement complicated designs or animations. So, ayun. Sa PUP tab, sabi niya, first test kasi sa amount of work na workload all over the place yan, time pressure, hindi na makapagpahinga. Grabe na naman. Iniisip niya na yung potential life story niya. That's it. Frustration, sabi ni Yong, sabi niya is frustration na ay di po siya makapag-communicate ng maayos. Same. Time frame plus expectations. Oh, burn out to you to academic concerns. Frustration niya ako. Confusion on how to navigate the UI, especially all the others. Wow, very sweet naman. Ayan. Try nyo lang a deep sa performance. Bigla na naiwan na ma-peers or feeling inferior. Okay. So, 
Ayun, tayo na na lang siguro eh, practice yung exercise na to from time to time. And para masali lang kayo on building empathy for other people. Pwede nyo try to empathize muna from people you are close with to people you have are acquainted with to stages na din nyo na completely kilala. And just try to put yourselves into their shoes. So, next na ba tayo? Okay pa ba po lahat? So, ano, di pa kayo nababort sa talk ko since meron pa akong next stage. Yes. Ano, type 1 if ready na kayo for the next stage. Yes, take note niyan guys because later we're gonna have a very quick and short design thinking workshop. So, in order for you to hindi mahirapan on our workshop, you need to know the design thinking process, which is to empathize, mm -hmm. define, ideate, prototype, or test. Pero di muna tayo magpa-prototype and test ngayon. We're going to focus on empathizing the users, defining the problem, and ideate the solution. So, it's very important as a designer. So, makinig kayo kay mentor Pao. Ayun, madami pa naman Pao. So, uh, don't worry. You're all good, Pao. You're doing well. Let's go. So, ayun. Next stage is define nga. If you dig deep talaga about design and its core essence, almost every expert would say various definitions. Made, but they all point out that design is all about problem solving. Um, okay. How can I explain this? Or para matatanda nyo ba this? Ah, ito. Natatanda nyo po ba yung steps or questions na usually ginagamit nyo sa math to elementary like when you are doing word problems you can actually relate those questions and uh, steps in design thinking paano ba like di ba kapag nag-aalis tayo ng word problem we are first asked often by our teachers yung question na what are the given and design kasi can actually think of the given as the insights on the people that you will gain from empathizing with them or from the research as you conducted and Pop quiz time. After nyo masagot nyo, what are the given? What's the next question usually? Or step na pinapatakan sa inyo ng mga mom or sir nyo? Ayun, yung Gresa. Required equation solution. As given, equation solution answer. So, ayun. After siguro ng given, or baka sa amin lang, we always... We are always asked what the problem is. So, in this stage, we define the problem statement sa design. And once alam nyo na yung problem na isasolve nyo sa design, you'll now proceed to coming up with ideas for the solution. This is the next stage na. Idea. This is where creativity is really needed talaga. Because in this stage, tayo mga designers, magkakonduct tayo ng mga brainstorming sessions. And if ever nahirapan kayo like me on this stage and you can come up with anything from scratch, I suggest na tingnan niyo yung scamper ideation. In scamper method, you could think of an existing product na. And para imimekus mekus na lang niyo yun, we can substitute, combine, adapt, modify, put to another use, eliminate, and reverse yung mga features. And... Aside from the scamper method, you could look up for more techniques pa naman sa Google. But yep, once you use your creativity na to come up with ideas, you still need to use logic naman to know if your idea will be desirable, viable, and feasible according to the ideal design thinking Venn diagram. So first, you need to validate me na if your design is desirable. Like, ask yourself kung magugustuhan ba ito ng mga tao? Ito ba yung kailangan nila? So, next, think if your idea is viable for the business. Does it meet the goals na gusto ma-reach ng mga stakeholders or clients na? Kaya ba siya ma-implement within your project constraints? And lastly, validate if feasible ba siya mabuo considering the technical constraints. Like, kakayanin ba ito ng mga developers? And meron ba kayo available resources for that? And now, once you have the final grand idea, you can now proceed to the next stage, prototype. So this is where 
UI design skills mostly come into play. That it's really given na need ng creativity dito. Pero do you know na logic could still be used to make great designs because there are actual guidelines, laws, and principles that you can follow in making design decisions like sa pagpili ng color and font hanggang sa spacing and laid out. If you ever observe lahat ng popular apps and websites na ginagamit nyo, you can see na may consistent patterns sila sa mga design nun. So, these are UI patterns established that were formed based on researches on human behavior or psychology. Okay, for an instance, anong color usually ba yung nakikita nyo if you committed an error sa mga apps or websites? Anong color yon kapag error? Red. Tama. Di ba matingkad na red color yung gamit usually? Hindi siya pink or yellow. And to indicate success naman, like you already filled up a text for the form, nakapag-submit na kayo ng form, or may na-confirm na check out nyo, anong color usually nakikita nyo? Green. That's right. Usually green, pero meron din naman blue sometimes. And di ba di kayo kayo nakakakita ng warm colors like yellow or red? So, bakit nga ba red kapag mali ka and green naman kapag tama ka? You have color psychology, physics, and DJ Jacobs heuristic principle to answer that. Red is used for error messages because, number one, it naturally grabs most of our attention. Bakit nga ba? Okay, medyo ano to? Balikan natin yung ating science lesson. Uh, ito. Nandiyan dito ba si founder right now? Mm, kasi magaling ito sa physics eh. Tanda mo po ba yung electromagnetic radiation spectrum? Yung sa visible light na part? Anong color yung nasa dulo nun? Yung nasa pinaka right side? Yeah. Hindi <laughs> ka magsalita. Red. Red. Tama. So, if you look at the visible light spectrum nga, yung red nasa dulo, and it's the most visible lagi sa atin because it has the highest amount of wavelength na pero-process ng mga manata natin. So, it's really effective to use red para mag-grab yung attention natin and mag-focus tayo dun sa error na need resolve. And if chinect nyo yung visible spectrum ulit, yung color green naman na may wavelength around 500 something, it's in the middle, di ba? Kaya it's not too dark and cool like the blues and violets. And it's not too warm and bright like the reds and yellows. So when our eyes process green color, it just feels right, di ba? So this is why, guys, color green is used for positive interactions and design. To make people feel that their choice is stable or correct. So ayan, hopefully, medyo nagagats niyo siya logically. So yeah, that's the physics part. And yun nga, sorry na board ko kayo. Try to familiarize yourselves with scientific concepts then on color and light from time to time because this, that would really help a lot when you try to make sense of color psychology later on. Okay, pagdating naman sa color psychology, red is often associated with things na intense like danger. Tama, di ba? And green is associated naman with safety, success, positivity, and growth. Um, bakit nga ba? Pwede pumasok dito yung isang Jacob's Usability Heuristic Principle that states there should be a, mat a match between the system and the real world. It basically states na kung ano yung nakikita or na-experience ng mga tao sa totoong mundo, it should reflect on your design to make them intuitive because they are already familiar with it. Now think, saan nyo ba usually nakikita ang color green and red sa totoong buhay? You can type your answers sa chats, spotlight, stoplight, red and green, uh -oh. green, nature, Philippine flag, tama naman, sa kanya po, ah! Oh Red or green ba yun? Wait po mga pagsalalaki. Sa games. Ex ko, excuse, hala. Paper sa snacks. Tama. Pakwan. Green po siya. Oh, nice. Grabe naman. Ano ako? 
Nice po talaga. And ayun, may nakita ako na sabi kanina is nature. Pero kapag sa red, di ba, it's the color of blood. And kailan ba tayo usually nakakakita ng red na blood? Kapag may masawang nangyayari, like there's a fight, okay, sorry, sorry, or work, kapag may hinat na animal, so you see why it's associated with danger since it sometimes connotates to death. Kaya, red is used for error messages. And di ba, we can see naman green in nature, specifically sa mga halaman mismo. And ano ba ginagawa ng mga plants? They grow. So, we see that they, ha- they have like, kaya, ayun, we use green to indicate success in our designs. And ayun lang that, for that siguro. Tama na muna yan kasi napapahaba yung discussion ko. I hope na nag-make sense sa inyo kung ano yung logical reason behind the use of red and green sa UI design. I just want to tell you na para malaman niya hindi guesswork yung paggawa ng interfaces. Kasi I want you all to be really mindful of every detail sa inyong design like your colors so you can make better designs which are intuitive in nature. So, kayo naman, ano, ano yung mga napapansin yung patterns sa interfaces ng mga apps or websites na ginagamit niyo? Yung mga colors, displays, fonts, or icons. Like, ano, sige. Anong patterns? Yung katulad na sinabi ko kanina, like yung paggamit ng red or mm. green, tindicate error and positive na messages. Okay, I'll wait muna sa chats for your answers. Disconnect button. Assistant. Clean UI. Lagi may white and black. Tama. Stick. Mga rounded na rectangular. Katalasan. Ay, o. Oh, ito. Yung kay T1. Kasi pag round yung objects, di ba, parang hindi siya yung intimidating tingnan kapag, like, kapag sharp kasi parang may edges and there's sense of danger. So, ayun, I just want you all to practice lang that yung habit na observing of the digital products you use. Because from those simple actions, you'll eventually see yourself na gagamitin nyo na yung na-observe nyo as inspirations for ideas in making user interface prototypes in the futures. And once you have the ideas now, you can start creating your wireframes and prototypes using design tools like Adobe XD, Figma, and Sketch. But ituturo na namin yun ni Ate Karen yun next time. Since di na muna tayo magka-prototype ngayon, let's move to the last stage, which is test. The test stage is really important if you want to keep on improving your design. It's just like when you are solving math problems. Diba minsan din na double check natin yung sagot to ensure tama yung solutions. So in design, we also double check if our product is used, useful, and usable. Like, can your designs be used and accessed by a lot of people? Is your design useful and it helps people to solve their problems? Is your design usable in a way that it can be delightfully and easily used? And to answer those questions and get the most important stuff, which is feedbacks, we designers have to conduct this sometimes to cut over your problems, to discover more opportunities and how to improve it. And then eventually, we also see you're learning more about the users when they use your designs. And once you've gained insights from the users you interacted with during your testing, Pwede kayo bumalik sa stages that I previously mentioned. So, you can see why many professionals mentioned that design is a non-linear and iterative process. And another proof nga that if you've been using some apps like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for a long time, di ba? May napapansin kayong bagong features o kayo natatanggal. And ito, sa mga big companies like Google and Facebook or Meta. Paulit-ulit silang umiikot sa mga stages ng empathizing, defining, identity, prototyping, and testing. And they do this endlessly so the apps and websites we use can keep up on meeting our evolving problems and wants as time goes by. So, yung example nga, yung sa YouTube ngayon, meron na silang short videos like sa TikTok, di ba? Since 
yung company ng YouTube, they understand that most people have short attention spans na lang ngayon. And ayun, so they understand na mas gusto ng tao ngayon na mag-consume ng entertainment in a short amount of time, like 15 seconds to a minute na lang. So, ayun. Ano, kayo, ano ba yung napansin nyo na new or eliminated features sa mga apps or websites na ginagamit nyo? <laughs> Ayun, yung Messenger IG notes para magparinig tama. Yung Messenger may highlights na bigla. Vertical orientation. Oo, oh, oh, yung sa mga videos. Like, Telegram may stories na. Okay, di ito. Captions kahit Tagalog video. Oo. Oh, oh. So, ayun. I see that's all good because titingnan niyo na yung mga products na ginagamit niyo. And that's it for design thinking. So, let's go back to the first three questions that I've asked when we began. So, uh, next slide, Kiara. So, ayun. What is design? Who can be a designer? What are the three things that a designer should use? Um, my answer for these questions from my learnings that I've shared to all of you today is this. A design is a solution. A designer is a problem solver and they use empathy, creativity, and logic. Because basta, I really hope you understand that design is not made out of pure creative magic. It's a solution that it's made because you dedicated your time and effort as a designer to solve the problems of the people by using your empathy, creativity, and logic. So, yeah, that's all. I really hope now you all learned a lot from me today. Thank you so much for listening and trying to understand my first ever talk. I really appreciate for taking the time you know, to, to be here and engage in my discussion with Kanina. If you have any questions and if gusto nila makipag-usap about design store, you can PM me on this social media accounts. That's all. Well. Once again, thank you so much. Ayan. Don't worry. Papaliwagin natin naman ni Ate Kiara yung mga terms and concepts na sinabi ko kanina. So, satisfy your curiosity bit by bit. So, I hope you'll stay again for the designer talk in the next session. Kasi ngayon, papunta na tayo sa exciting part. Ano nga ba next natin gagawin? Yes, so, okay pa ba kayo dyan, guys? Um, yeah, for the, very quick lang to siya. It's a very short workshop. It's a design thinking workshop. So, yung mga, ano, like, I mean, yung mga details na diniscuss ni Pao, it's also related to this workshop. Kaya, I really did hope na nakainig kayo. And I, uh, if you have any questions, we are very willing to answer it for you. So, before we go ahead and do the workshop, we're gonna have a very quick icebreaker muna to break all the tense and the information because I know, I know so many daming information noon. So, quick ano muna tayo, guys. Um, let me just pull up the icebreaker here. This is just a very quick icebreaker. Mga three minutes siguro pa din ito. And let me just pull up the... Alright. So, inom muna kayo ng water. Ay, ano pala, after nyo na lang masabit yung icebreaker natin. <laughs> Ayun. Yep. So, uh, icebreaker muna tayo. <laughs> ano to, Papa? <laughs> Ay, sorry. Ano to? May, may, may draft pa si Pauline din dito. <laughs> may draft. Alright. So, eto yung icebreaker natin for tonight. And I'm going to be giving you two minutes, two to three minutes to screenshot. I'm going to, I don't know, screenshot this and send this to the chat. 
And then, there you go. Draw a duck and share your art. Okay? So, the, yun yung icebreaker natin for tonight. And submit your designs on the chat. So, again, wag kayong magpapaban mm -hmm. kay me six. Okay? Workspace safe na designs lang, guys. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so, let's start now. Send your designs here. Doesn't have to be really colorful. Emphasize. As long as it's actually dapat funny siya. Hindi pa ding duck pa din talaga siya. You want something out like beyond the box. Ganon. Go. Play mo na natin yung music. And, and while you are doing the designs, ano. Hopefully, nag-register na kayo sa weekly design challenge natin. Ayun, pag ibang duck daw yung nakita, nako, time out. So, <laughs> no way forward kami sa mga ducks nyo, guys. We're gonna give you until 7.32 p.m. One more minute. Keep it coming. Or 7. Pende, let's see. I want to see lots of ducks. Giga duck. <laughs> Practice to para you can think outside of the box. Uh -uh. Yes. Ooh. Keep it coming lang, guys. I really want to see your designs. Oh, the Photoshop pa talaga. Grabe naman to see Lay. Let's go, Lay. <laughs> Lay is doing it. <laughs> Oh, grabe naman yung talk niya. May abs. Ang cute na mga mga talk. <laughs> Strong. Let's go one more minute, guys. Kaya niya yan. Duck lang yan, na hindi duck. Mm -mm. <laughs> yung ibang duck, ka Ah, wow, okay. Kakaibok Naging manok yun. Oh, creative yun. Yeah, that's really creative. <laughs> it was... Oh, okay. The box. Sabi naman pala kayo guys, artist naman pala mga to. Uy, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Literal na think outside of the box. Ino-overthink pa nila yan. Paano mag-drawing ng duck, hindi mm -hmm. naman duck. Ayun, it's 7.33pm now. So, if you're still working on it, don't worry. Just send it to the chat. Mm -hmm. And... Let's go ahead and start our design thinking workshop. This is just gonna be very quick since na discuss naman ay Pauline yung mga necessary things that you have need to know for this workshop. Okay, so welcome to our design thinking workshop. Wow, may pa welcome pa talaga. <laughs> okay, so ato yung discuss ni Pauline kanina. Before we go ahead and proceed with our workshop, we need to know the steps. Ay, oo nga pala. We need to do the curtain. Yun. Ay. Nako, technical problem na naman. Grabe talaga to. <laughs> okay, so, if as you can see on the slide, that yung mga steps, familiar siya, di ba? These are the five steps of the design thinking process. Oh, di ba? Yung diniscuss ni Pauline, it's, it's connected because mm -hmm. it's actually the same though. So, so first, we need to empathize and ask questions. Define the problem. Think of possible solutions. 
create a model of your solution and test your solution. So on our workshop, we're going to do the step one to three and yung step four to five. Surprise na namin yun. We will gonna be sending it to your email and the details about this because this is gonna be your first design challenge. Okay, so let's go. What are the five W's and one H? Are you familiar with this? Alam niyo ba to? Ito yung mga questions that you need to know or ask to your, when you do design thinking. The what, why, who, where, when, and how. Okay? So, yung who, of course, it refers to the people or group relevant to the issue or the situation. It is the person, or it should include the person who discovered the problem, who can possibly solve it, and who will be responsible for implementing the possible solution. For the what? For the... I'm sorry, I started with who. Dapat pala what muna. Pero... Ako po. Say, okay, so sa so what muna tayo. Pero yun na yung sa who. So, so, so what naman is, ito yung situation or the problem. Basically, it's the situation or the specific problem. And when we go with the why, ito naman yung dito mo siya i-explain yung the reason and the objectives behind the need for action or why there's a need to do the 5W and the 1H method in the first place. So basically, the why question, ito yung why, is it a problem? Why is this necessary or important? Why hasn't it been solved yet? So ito yung mga, all of the, dito ka na mag-overthink, yung mga reasons and objectives more for this. And uh, sa how naman, ito naman yung pinaka part wherein, we identify the plans na kailangan natin gawin to solve the problem. Ito na yung last method and it specifies the steps on how the identified plans should be carried out. It somehow includes or should include resources, tools, methods, means, and even the expenditure needed for the endeavor to be effective. Wow. So in short, to make it Ano, to make it very simple, ito na yung paano may isosolve yung problem. Basically, that's it. So, to keep it simple lang, what, para saan, why, bakit, who, para kanino, or sino yung involved. And yung where pala, yung exact location, or position of the recognized issue. It can be a place, facility, or even a certain process where the solution is to be implemented. So for the where questions, example is, where does the problem occur, where this will take place, and where has it been previously solved? So, ayan na siya. And next is, Let's go ahead and we have a problem statement here. So are you familiar with problem statements? Say yes if, uh-oh, -uh, no, if not familiar or very new to your learnings. Problem statements, it's everywhere, not just in UI UX design. Yun. So basically, yung problem statement is ito yung concise descriptions of design problems. Kumbaga, ito yung problema. <laughs> to make it very simple, 
eto yung problema ng mga user. So, we define problem statement in order to create user or human-centered solutions. Then, we use the statements also called point of views as reference points throughout the project to measure the relevance of ideas they produce. So, we're going to use the, our problem statement to create a human-centered design or solution. So, very important, siya, di ba? So, we have a problem statement here. And ang nasa problem statement natin dito is how might we create a seamless and user-friendly online ordering experience that allows customers to quickly find and purchase their desired products, ensuring timely delivery and an efficient way to track the status of their orders. So this is our problem statement for our workshop for tonight. So I'm gonna... Take a screenshot for this. Para lang ano. Masan ko siya sa chat. So basically, ang problem statement natin is paano nga ba tayo gagawa ng user-friendly design for an online ordering and para yung mga customers, mabilis silang mahanap yung mga products na gusto nila and at the same time, to ensure the delivery na nakikita nila. Like, for example, yung mga, ano, Grab, Apiki, um, Grab, Shopee, Foodpanda, basically, any e-commerce apps. Usually naman, di ba, Pao? They have, like, mm -hmm. they have features on customers to find the products and para makita nila kung yung time of the delivery ng product or the food, let's say. So, I want you to take those applications, for example, and send ko yung problem statement sa chat. I want you to take note of that. And we have our user persona here. So, Are you familiar with user personas? Type yes and no. Go hindi. Because we can explain it to you. All right. So may mga nag pa din. So don't worry. We hear you. User personas are basically people. Hindi sila nag -e exist in real life. They are just created for the problem statement. Kumbaga, they are your users, pero hindi sila nag -e exist in real life. Like, does it sound complicated? Fictional users. To be more, ano, more clarified. Gawa-gawa lang itong mga user persona, pero yung user persona is a basis on what your potential users are. So, gets pa guys? Kaya hindi type on the chat, or if kailangan pa na brief explanation for it. So, short for user personas is fictional users na ginagawa mo in order for you to have a visualization of your users para mas madali mong ma-fix yung problem. Because, as you can see here, ito yung user persona. Meron description kung sino si Alex. Ano yung ginagawa ni Alex? We have Alex here. PC marketing professional na nagre-rely daw siya sa online shopping to purchase variety of products from office supplies to personal items. Time is of the essence for Alex due to his demanding job. <laughs> Naging easy, Alex. Pero his demanding job and he values convenience and efficiency in his online ordering experience. O, diba? By having a user persona kay Alex, 
we can easily have an idea of the problem and we can easily put ourselves on the perspective of the user, which is Alex. We have par personal characteristics, time conscious, tech savvy, siya, highly organized, goal oriented, din, and multitasker. Meron din naman yung habis and interest niya, digital marketing and analytics, keeping up with industry trends, outdoor activities on weekends, cooking and trying new recipes. Ito yung goal ni Alex and ito yung challenges. As you can see, streamlining, streamline the online shopping process to save time and reduce stress. Gusto niya din na ma-ensure yung reliable and timely delivery of ordered items. Gusto niya din ma-track yung status of orders to coordinate delivery with his schedule. So, di ba, by having a user persona na nakalagay yung mga goals ni Alex, we can easily think of solutions. So, that's it. It's very, it's a very great practice to always create a user persona. And next is, ito yung challenges. Goals ni Alex, ito yung mga gusto niya makita sa isang application. Yung challenges niya naman is yung mga past experience niya on the same applications or related applications. So, sabi niya dito, limited time for in-person shopping due to work commitments. Difficulty finding and purchasing products efficiently online. The need to juggle multiple tasks, both at work and in personal life. Alam na natin yung challenges ni Alex. Sino, sino ba talaga to pao? Si Alex or si Alice? Palit <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex. Ayan, na ayan, na ayan. Alex na yan, ha? Okay. So, eto naman yung needs ni Alex. Kailangan niya ng online shopping platform na nag offer ng simple and intuitive user experience. Kailangan niya din ng reliable delivery services with accurate tracking information. A solution that aligns with his time-sensitive lifestyle, ensuring a hassle-free shopping experience. So, by Having an idea or knowing the goals, challenges, and needs of Alex, we can create a very, like, we can go ahead and create a human-centered design. Kasi, kahit fictional lang siya, nagkakaroon tayo ng idea on what our users wants or needs. So, I'm going to send a screenshot for this here on the chat. I want you to take note of this. And then, let's go back to our five W's and one H. So, I want you to take note of the problem statement that we provided. Nasa na ba yun? We're gonna, gonna resend it here. Take note of the problem statement and the user persona that we provided to you here in our chat. And I want you to... Create the five W's and one H. This is going to be the template. You start with the what, why, who, where, when, and how, and send it to the chat. So, kung nagtataka kayo, kung who will create all these questions, the questions will come from you directly mismo. Ikaw. Ikaw yung nagsosolve ng problem. So, how are you going to do this? Take note of the problem statement. Empathize with Alex. Know the goals, the challenge, and the needs of Alex. And then, connect it to create a human-centered solution and design. All right? 
So, bawal daw mag-chat GPT. <laughs> so, yep. Send you lang, na lang siya sa chat, guys. And kung nalilito kayo or na-confused, don't worry. Nandito kami ni Pao to clarify things out for you. So, we're gonna give you 10 minutes. Sakto, 8 p.m. Or 5, kaya? <laughs> Let's go, guys. Ayan. While you're, I know, you're constructing all the the answers to the five W's and one H. Play more than music. I don't know. Na read nyo ba to? Or na read mo ba to pa? Or it's just personal feature. Ah, uh, okay. Pag you need any clarifications, guys, ha? don't forget to. I mean, don't hesitate to ask. So, pa, may gusto ko bang idagdag? Or any tip on how to make it easy? May tip ka ba sa kanila? Or all goods naman? All goods naman siguro. Let's try na muna. Let's see, let's see. Let's try muna on their own. Para ano. Tapos mamaya ikay na lang natin sa kanila kung tama pa or... Pwede ba yung ma-approve? Paano po yung sa where? Para lang madali mag-specify in future personas. So, yung, where, yung sa where na port, it's usually kung saan nag-o-occur yung problem. So, or, like, pwede din, ano, like, where this will take place. Or with where it has it been previously solved. So, kung saan yung ano, I implement yung solution. Pero let's say for example, if you're still curious with the where question, like let's say for example, yung user mo nasa place siya na um based on my ano lang, like personal experience on creating the user journeys. So yung where, eto yung saan nagkakaproblema yung users. Like or like let's say sa ano niya sa application while navigating on the let's say food mobile application sa an port yung problem na nag o occur so nagkaka problema ba siya dun sa part na sa pag sign in sa log in or dun ba sa part na nagdi deliver na siya ng no? Or nag order na siya ng food. Pwede din siya maging place. For example, kung mobile app siya and you are gonna be designing an application na may feature siya for like looking for, let's say, a dog finder app. Yung problem ng Dog Finder app is that it's having an issue with the GPS. So, pwede din yun. As in, tanong talaga yung isasagot sa bawat item. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> uh, you're gonna provide... I... Is, wait. Questions. Mm -hmm. A 
actually you're gonna provide the questions and you're gonna provide the answers as well but you don't you don't have to really type the questions you don't really have to type the questions a what pero ilagay mo na lang yung answer mo directly kasi ikaw yung magka-come up ng mga questions na yan eh. because you are the one who is i like solving the problem parang ganun so you can just type what and then type your answer why and then your answer You don't need to really put the question. Yes, gagawa ka ng question. But it's a question lang para mag-come up ka ng answer. Ayan, parang ganyan yung ginawa ni Rufy. If I, if I pronounce your name correctly. And CKB Rowado. Yung when naman is the yung when is like when ba nag yung problem or when kailangan yung results mga ganun. It's basically pertaining to the situation na nagsistate ng timeline, mga deadline or details na para makatulong siya sa problem. Yeah, so sa who naman, guys, we have our user persona naman. So you can be specific if you're gonna sabi, if gusto nyo sabihin si Alex or gusto nyo maging general for online shoppers or customers, online customers, mga ganun. This way, it's very important to take, take like a look on the user persona that we provided para mas madali siyang sagutin for the five w's and one h ayun I see several people typing, so we're looking forward to see your answers here. And wag kayo mag-alala if you feel like hindi siya tama, don't worry about it. We're here to help you guys. Important talaga to if before we dive into designing talaga.
<laughs> Akala daw ni Christian the design design lang daw. Ang hirap pala i-feel yung pipito malali na daw. Okay. Oh my god, natawa ko din na. Nag-reminis bigla yung kanta nung pipito ba na lato. Alright, so it's, it's 8.2pm na. So I still see several people typing here. Siguro asan tayo na 5 minutes. I mean, until 8.5pm. So, let's go. And those for the mga tapos na dyan, I hope na nag-register kayo sa weekly design challenge natin. Because we're gonna start the challenge on Monday and we're gonna be sending the prompt directly to your email. And it will contain the details on the rules, the pointing system, and where to submit your design. And we have a specific notion for that. Kaya. Kaya, watch out on it on your email because it's a Santa Misha tonight. Kasi yung. The pagusapan na minipao is we're gonna end the deadline or end the registration for to the design challenge. Tonight, 11.59 p.m. So, hanggang 11.59 p.m. lang siya ngayon. So, yung weekly design challenge natin, yung registration na yun, yun na yung gagamitin, I mean, yun na yung basihan for you to participate on our future challenges. That's gonna be be happening throughout our whole mentorship. So, wala nang ibang registration form. Yun na yun siya. So, sa mga hindi pa nakapag-register, you can go ahead and go to the UIUX general chat. Look for the form and mag-register na kayo because it's until 11.59pm lang tonight. Maigli lang po deadline na task. The, the design challenge will start on Monday, every Monday, and then the deadline will be on Saturday, 11.59 p.m. din siya. So, balay before our session on Sunday, nakasabit na kayo lahat dapat. Because kasi we're gonna do an online feedback then on your designs. Kaya, we need to know, yeah, we really need to have your designs na before mag-Sunday. And don't worry because our, your first weekly design challenge natin, hindi muna siya collaborative. It's an individual task or a challenge. So, it's gonna be individual lang. And you're not gonna be working with the devs pa. So, you can see the form. So, let's. I'll, I'll send the form here. Just for a minute. Ayun. I thought na. Ayan siya. So, yung deadline ng registration is until. 11.59 p.m. tonight. Yan yung deadline ng registration. Pero yung weekly challenge natin, first challenge, start this Monday. And yung deadline ng challenges natin is every Saturday, 11.59 p.m. Yes, registration pa lang yan, guys. Don't worry about it. And Huwag kayong kabahan. Register na kayo because let's see ilan na to. Mga nag-register. Tapunan na natin yung stream. Yes, it's the same form na na-post namin last week. So, kung nakapag-register na kayo, you don't have to register ulit. 
And kung na double register naman, it's okay. Nakikita naman namin yan. So ayun, register na kayo dyan. And then, we're gonna send you an email that will contain all the details for our first prompt. Don't worry, magsasend din kami ng details dito sa Discord. But we encourage you to read the email that we're gonna be sending you kasi nandun yung specific steps, rules, and other things that you need to know. And nandun ni dun, syempre, yung mga rewards. Um, just a teaser of the rewards na pala. So, currently ngayon, meron tayong 74 responses. So, we're expecting 74 designs to be handed off every Saturday, 11.59 p.m. And uh, don't worry about it. Because first prom pa naman siya. So, we're just gonna keep it, ano muna, chill. But you're gonna have fun for sure. Alright, so I think like over extend tayo na 8 minutes. Pero if you have any other questions, you can ask on our UI UX general. Make sure to have your UI UX badge for those na wala pa. And I hope na madami kayo natutunan for today's session with Pauline. And of course, before we forget, pa fill up na to, feedback form natin. Right here, let me just send you the link. All right, so we appreciate your honest feedback. So please do fill up the feedback form and we are going to be sending you the attendance card on the email na ginamit nyo dyan sa feedback form. So the details on the attendance card will be provided on our Notion. Yung Notion naman sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam. Yan yung parang task, ano siya, um, work, workspace management or task management. Basta nandun na yung details sa email, so don't worry about it. Alright, so please fill up the feedback form. Yes, pa siyang notepad na madami features. So fill up the feedback form because that's one feedback form is equivalent to one attendance for this session, and also we need your feedbacks. Kaya, is there anything else, Pao, on your end? Or, gusto may clarify? Pero yung mga, if you want to, if you gusto nyo malaman yung mga articles na pinagsasabi ko kanina, I'll send the links na lang din sa my notion. If gusto nyo malaman mag advanced study, yeah. And lang naman, thank you so much for attending. Thank you sa so, pag-engage kanina sa discussion. Kahit alam ko na super dami na sabi ko. And thank you rin. Kasi you tried your best in, in our challenge ngayon. And ayun lang. See you again next time. Yun, thank you so much, Mentis, and excited na kami for the Goodly Design Challenge. Fill up the feedback form, so don't forget about that. Because dun kami magsasend nung mga details ng challenge or the notion. So, again, one feedback form equals one attendance for today's session. And don't forget na meron tayong best UI UX Mentis. So, the rubrics to have that award will be sent to our notion. Okay, so... Goodbye, guys. Thank you so much. And I hope you learned a lot from us. And we look forward on seeing you on our next session pa din. Again, interactive yung sessions natin because we want to, let's say, nasa na nga pa yun. Um, wait, may ihabol akong saying. Dapat di mawala yung saying natin. <laughs> <laughs> so, wala yung talks. Okay. Sorry, founder. One minute lang naman ni. Eh. Um, Alright. Okay. Kaya interactive yung sessions natin palagi. Because of this saying, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. So, yun lang. So, bye guys.